Hi everyone, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical and I'm here today to uh, introduce a video from Dr. Kenneth DiStefano. Now, uh, Dr. DiStefano made a video today to go over a very important topic and one that's a little bit controversial and uh, uh, hotly debated online and that is the topic of um, the age at which it's appropriate to have a hair transplant. Specifically, when are you too young or is there a thing as too young for a hair transplant? And uh, as I stated before, you know, this is argued uh, pretty aggressively both ways. Some people say it's okay to have one younger. Other people say you need to wait until, you know, a, a certain cutoff. Um, so there's a lot of back and forth and it's, it's something that, um, you know, like I said, always garners a lot of passion, but it's also something that's very important because there are a lot of young patients uh, who are losing their hair. A lot of people start to use, lose their hair young and if there's ever a time you're going to want your, your hair back to look your age, it's when you're in your you know, 20s. So um, Dr. DiStefano tackles uh, this, this very important topic in this video. I think he does a great job, so I wanted to uh, share it here on the main channel. So without further ado, here is Dr. Kenneth DiStefano. Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Kenneth DiStefano with Feller and Bloxham Medical, and I'm back with another video. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a common question I get all the time from my patients. And that question is, am I too young to get a hair transplant? The answer to this question depends on several factors, age being just one of them. But in general, my patients range in age from 20 to 60 and even beyond that. There are a lot of doctors that say they won't operate on younger patients because they say, your hair loss is gonna continue, come back when you've lost more. Or they just give an arbitrary number like, you must wait until you're age 30. And before that, just stay on medication. And while some patients may choose to wait for many patients, I personally don't believe it's necessary. Basically, I'm okay with operating on younger patients as long as they clearly understand what I'm about to discuss in this video. You see, the way I look at it is, hair transplants are permanent. So no matter what age you start, you're not going to lose the transplanted hair. There are, however, a few considerations. My goal is to build something aesthetically that will look as good at 50 as it does in the 20s. So when someone comes to me in their early 20s, I'm gonna tell them, look, you've got the potential to lose a lot more of your hair in the future. We need to start your hairline at a level where if you do lose a lot more hair, it'll still look good as you continue to age. This is where other docs can get into trouble doing surgery on younger guys. The patient comes in asking for a hairline that they had as a teenager, and the surgeon attempts to do that, often with FUE, using up much of the available donor hair in the process. Then five years down the road, the patient has progressed to a Norwood 6 and is extremely unhappy about their appearance. So if you're a young guy, I'm gonna tell you, here's the deal. Your hair loss is gonna to continue to progress. We can't just beef up that hairline back to your teenage levels because it's gonna look very wrong in a few years. What we need to do is create a hairline that's going to look good now and also look good as you get older. Because I'll be treating you with the expectation that you'll eventually lose all of the hair on top. So we must do whatever we can to safely manage the grafts in your donor area. This inevitably leads to a discussion of FUE versus FUT. The thing about FUE is that it's a lot harder to keep the donor area intact over multiple procedures. In fact, there may only be enough donor grafts to do about half a scalp using FUE. And then you get into beard and body hair transplants, and that's just not something I'm willing to do. In any case, where there is a need for a large number of grafts now, as well as the expectation of needing many more grafts in the future, these procedures should be done as FUT. In summary, if hair transplant is something you're serious about and you've been told you're too young, I want you to understand that I can treat you as long as we make consideration for any future hair loss as you age. That means starting with a realistic hairline and preserving your donor hair for future procedures. Of course, the best way for me to understand your situation is for you to come out and see me for a consultation. I can help you determine if you're a good candidate for surgery at any age. Because after all, hair restoration is a journey, not a quick fix. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is Dr. Kenneth DiStefano. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. See you in the next one. Take care.